How's it going guys? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about how easy it is to ground yourself and a couple methods that you can use so that when you build your computer, you can have no worries of the risk of damaging it with ESD. So the primary way usually people will tell you to do is grab a wrist strap like this and connect it to the case that you're working on. The only problem with this is a lot of cases have very thick paint jobs or aren't exactly metallic. So as you can see there, we can hook it to the side of this case. In my case, actually ends up being pretty much just straight metal, but this isn't always the case. And if this isn't the case, or you have, let's say a plastic case or a mainly glass case, and you don't feel comfortable using it as a grounding point, you might need to look at some other options. One super easy option actually is to find yourself an outlet. And if you have an outlet, you can either buy an outlet grounding plug, or you can actually find yourself a laptop charger plug. So all you need is a laptop charger that has an end that looks something like this, because the outside metal of this end is actually a grounded point. So what you can do is just plug in the actual charger to your outlet, and then all you have to do is hook the end which has the metal on it to your little ESD wrist strap. And then you'll be all grounded and protected. And that way those cables are actually usually, usually decently long. So that way you have all the ample room you need to walk around your case and work on your computer and know that it is grounded. One thing you can also do is just touch the actual cable every now and then. If you don't have a wrist strap or if you just don't feel like wearing a wrist strap, as long as you're standing still, you shouldn't be building up any charge anyways. So it should be totally fine to stand there and build your PC. And then every time you move around, just make sure to touch that little metal end and ground yourself again. Another method you can use is grabbing any of your phone charging cables and plugging that into the USB ports on your computer. Now your computer will already be grounded through the wall socket as shown previously, so anything connected to it that has a ground will also be grounded and the end of these cables for your charging of your phone or whatever you have actually has a ground on the outside so you can just connect the clip to that and you will be all set. Now, if you do end up buying the plug, which I will have linked in the description, if you are curious, not necessary, but if you want to have it just because of its convenience and you already have an ESD wrist strap, you can take off the actual clip of the strap and just plug it directly into that socket. Uh, make sure you are <laughs> putting this in correctly. Do not just plug your wrist strap into the socket. Make sure you are using the grounding socket plug that is linked below or buy your own or find your own. But if you really wanted to, you technically could plug it directly in the socket. The bottom hole of all these sockets are grounding holes and these are all grounded from your house. So using this socket is actually using your entire home's electrical systems ground. So it is a massive ground compared to a small tiny case that you might use, which might not actually give you good contact. And that is pretty much the best methods that I use or I could think of for grounding yourself for a PC. Hope you guys enjoyed this short little video and I hope this can give you some more peace of mind when you're working on your own computer at home. If you have any questions, leave them below in the comments. Otherwise, subscribe, check out the links in the description and if you're curious about anything else, you know, shoot me a message and I'd be happy to talk to you about it.